Got it. Good. Yeah. Oh, she's thinking. And yeah. it probably must be. And let's mute you. Right. Mute. Okay, good. I didn't want to get the, the feedback. And let's go here and open this one. Um, there. Let's turn this one down. Okay, there we go. Whew. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rick showed up in the corner. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. We have about 18 of our little friends here. Wow. How Hi, is Lynn. everybody today? Did you know that Sarah and I could be together from so far away, from so far Sarah. apart? I'm getting really good at this, being you with people are. from far away. Hi, Patty. I am live from my little office in Lexington, and Sarah is live from South Dakota. Hello, Marlene. Everybody signing in. Hello from Wisconsin, Barb. This is exciting. I know, isn't this fun? I love this. Hi, Marcia and Melissa. I know it's sort of cool when like you can have all these people from so far away. Oh my goodness, we've got to do uh, more. Thanks, Marianne. Had it like Ohio and Wisconsin and all kinds of fun people hanging out today. How is everybody? And working in Ohio. Oh yeah. See, it's a good thing about this work. You know, you can sometimes do some work multitask. Oh, One from Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> Michigan does not end in a D. <laughs> in North Carolina and California. Hi, Cindy so Biggs. She's from Ohio. I know Cindy Biggs. So yeah, in Maryland. Man, we got them from everywhere, Sarah. I wonder if we'll get all 50 states. Woo, that'd be fun. <laughs> Maybe somebody from another country. That could be exciting. I'm excited to have you all here today. This is the first time Sarah and I have done Facebook Live together. In Pittsburgh. So if you're joining us, you probably know that Sarah and I have a class that we just finished. Well, <laughs> we taped it back in August when it was warm. And then it took a while to get all the finishing touches on, but it is done and is up and is ready. And you all seem to be, those of you that have signed up, seem to be really enjoying it and learning a lot of stuff. Yes. If you've been getting a lot of questions, Sarah, I don't get any of the emails, so I don't see any of those, but I see the Facebook posts. Yes. Well, thank you, Liz, for kind of watching over our Husqvarna Viking Boot Camp Facebook group so we can kind of keep track. We love that you uh, we're starting to get some posts of people who are asking about uh, we had one this morning with the design positioning app. Yes. Yes. And so if you've got questions or some great pictures to help out. So that would be a great place as you start working through the course to post pictures. Um, yes, I have some questions that we'll go over that I've gotten via email a lot of times from people who haven't yet signed up for the course. So we'll go ahead and answer some of those. I was going to say, I, so we should yeah. probably go over and sort of say what the course is in case you're on yeah. and you don't exactly know what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we... We got started because we get so many questions at our store. So I'm in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and our store is Heirloom Creations. Yes. And these Wi-Fi compatible machines have been out for a while, five yeah. years with Vikings. And there's just been so much that Viking has added to these machines that people we know, Liz and I were discussing one day, she was writing notes on her napkin. So by the way, she, she's, a, she's a napkin. You do have a napkin. <laughs> I'm really bad. I, I'm sometimes a post-it note, but I'll take whatever I can write on. Yeah. <laughs> 
and uh, we came up, we realized that so many questions that we get are, or that just the fact that they're not using these machines to their fullest. And I was actually in that same category. So that's how this course got started. Well, and because there's, they've got this my sonet ecosystem now which is an e like it there's a lot of things that go into this my sonet so when you say my sonet one person may think you're talking about one thing but you could be talking about something like there's just a lot in the my sonet with apps and direct connection of the machine and software and all kinds of stuff right and then there's stuff that you pay for and then right I, okay i must be the fan of all the free stuff because i'm like most people don't realize all the free stuff that, that you can access and not even get into the, the monthly payments of the software. Because I know a lot of our customers are actually not software people yeah. because they're actually utilizing all the free stuff that's out there or yeah. uh, they just like designs and they just want to stitch them out. So yes. yeah, we put our heads together and realized and after uh, filming, we had over six hours of uh, a video Content. and that's the yeah. magic of tv <laughs> after i <laughs> edited out all of our giggles i was gonna say there was a lot more than six hours <laughs> this is what was left <laughs> no we're very excited to um, have all this information and then liz and i have um, we know that tomorrow something can change and we can just add that to the course and, well, so and since we since we filmed it originally, there's already been a little bit of a change with the app. So we went ahead and filmed something real quick and popped that in there. Right. So, so yeah, it's, in, it's fluid. We'll keep, in, we'll keep in touch as we add things. So if you well, obviously, if you're watching this, this is probably on Facebook. But if you are watching this after it's been filmed again, those will be things that you're um, you'll be able to find in the course if you're a student. Yes. We, we have a comment that, yes, that's what I need, all the free stuff. And that's, I mean, there was a lot of stuff that came in with their machines that they maybe are utilizing or didn't really know was there. So that's what the whole point of this course was to say, hey, you know, you've got this, 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 and this, right? Take a look at it and utilize it. We've got lots of comments of the course is awesome and so helpful already. We do have a question already about Foth boot Bootcamp, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Perfect. So... So what kind of questions have we been getting from those that have been already? Well, we most of the comments that I've been getting are just people who have already started and they started watching our um, our our tips tips that yes. we did. Remember, we kind of did a whole list of tips and that, that people could just, were like, I just be a class. that could be a class all by itself. <laughs> it is. And you know what? If if you have not enrolled, we have over 20 videos that you can preview for free in, in our list of tips and it's just Liz and I going did you know you can do it this way instead of this way and I'm like no and then I'd say something and she'd be like I didn't know that and so there was a lot of so we do have uh, a lot of information that you can gain just by watching if you go down to the class curriculum area of the website um, that you can if it just says preview uh, you can just watch those you don't even need to log in uh, for watching those videos, you can just click and watch and enjoy, at least watch the free ones and uh, gain the information that we've uh, shared with you. And of course, if you want to go more or more in depth, we definitely had some fun. And then something that I got to do after Liz, uh, we finished our filming, as I said, I would just go ahead and work with a lot of the stitches. So we have recreated some of the FOF stitches, the exclusive stitches, uh, like the ribbon stitches and like the floating stitches. We recreated those on the Husqvarna Viking. So that was super fun. Uh, it was a nice challenge for me. And that's what I need from time to time is uh, a little something different. And right. somebody asked me, they're like, oh, where did you learn this? And I'm like, it came out. I mean, I sat in the machine and I poked and I poked and I made the stitch. I mean, I just kept working with it. I think that's one thing people don't do is take time to play. And that's what I I think that's what made us do this. And we had so much fun doing it is we got to play in all these areas that uh, we we were featuring. Right. No, it was a lot of fun just to sort of sit down and fiddle with it. I mean, they're capable of doing so much stuff. 
And most people don't really take advantage of all the things that they can do with it. And most of the people that buy these machines have a creative vein in them. They just need to <laughs> tap into it. Yes. Well, we definitely will uh, push you to some new limits. Um, it's not hard to follow along. And I think one thing about online courses is that people always tell me it's so nice to go ahead and, and hit pause and then go back and re-listen or take that lesson over again. Do it at their own pace too. Yes. And so, I mean, people have asked, and I know these days are a changing, you know, they want me to do a hands-on class and, and at our store. And, and one of the things I tell them, I'm like, I can do a, you know, a three hour class, but you're going to go home and, and forget it. And so by doing an online course, you, you kind of get to keep us in your sewing room for, for a long time and have us repeat it over and over. And a lot of them, I've got a question or I've got a statement that, you know, because of COVID too, like a lot of them bought machines and then they've not been able to get that in-person education. So this is a nice option for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who has joined us. Uh, Liz and I, Liz had no idea how popular online courses are. She's like, I did not. Oh my <laughs> it's, like, been uh, an it's been an eye-opening week. Yes. 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 She's like, oh my gosh, look, that we have people signing up. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> but even I was sitting there going, I hope somebody likes our course. <laughs> <laughs> I hope people like us. We're just silly. I hope people like us. <laughs> exactly. How about, let's answer a couple of the questions that we've had. Like, yes. if you don't have one of the Wi-Fi compatible machines that has embroidery, do you want to answer that question? Oh, wait, sorry, I was yeah, I was reading oh, these questions. Okay. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so there's there's two Husker by Viking machines right now. The Viking 980Q, so yes. that's like okay. the yes. pink one, yes. and then the Viking 95Q. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> so, 95Q is current. 90 or uh, 980 yeah. was before the 95Q, yeah. but they're the sewing versions of the Epics, basically. Yes. Yes, and we love those machines, and we have actually, we kind of talked about this, but we didn't know how to handle it, um, but we have figured it out, and so what we're going to do is extract the lessons that are just for the sewing only, and we are going to call it uh, the Husqvarna Viking Boot Camp Light, so, so it will be at a, yeah. a smaller price because there's not as much um, information, but we're going to go through all the cool things about um, accessing the blog and the stitches that we created so you can have some fun and recreate them yourself. Because there was a lot of sewing. We did a lot of sewing things we did. in the class. Yeah. It wasn't just focused on embroidery. And even right. like when we talked about the blog and that kind of thing, there are sewing lessons in the blog. It's not just embroidery. Exactly. So good. Yep. Um, and then let's, so with that, if you have friends that have the uh, Fof creative icon. All right, Liz, you're more the, the Fof expert here. Yes. Oh, wait. Yes. Yes. Um, sorry. I had someone that said they were tech challenged and they were very excited about this. <laughs> yes. Good. You're I'm, not, I'm not good at multitasking this morning, reading questions and to, or I guess it's not this morning. That's why. So Faf, so we have had a lot of people ask us about a uh, Faf boot camp, and right now the Faf line has only got one machine. That's why I enabled. Now that being said, we are getting Icon two in March, so we'll have another machine with that capability. And then we know that in the pipeline there are some more coming down. Um, just not sure exactly when we're going to get them. We know it'll be in the next, I would say 12 months, but we don't know exactly when we're going to get them or if they might get pushed. So we're sort of waiting a little bit before we do a FOF boot camp because we want to get a couple more models that would be able to utilize it. Sorry, Rick's creepy face keeps popping in every so often. Um, I was born before 2000. That's why I'm tech challenged. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Stephanie. Uh, we're going to do baby. We did baby steps. So right. it's, you know, we're not expecting you to know everything. Uh, I think that's kind of where we started with each lesson is kind of a little overview. And then we kind of like baby stepped you in. And yes, you're right. If being able to go back and rewatch is going to be key, you know, uh, pull it out. You got it. I mean, hands on deck is how you're going right. to learn. 
Um, that's how yeah. we've learned. You have to, you have to make some trial and errors. You got to press the buttons and make it do stuff and say, oh, that's not really good. Or, oh, I really like that. That's how we come across these really cool things that we make. Oh, that sort of happened by accident. <laughs> that's usually how it works. Yes. <laughs> good. 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 Um, let's, you know what I want to show, and I know it probably won't show a lot, but I'll just go ahead and, and, um, bring it up. So even the other day I, I asked Liz, I'm like, Liz, my blog isn't showing on my Viking Epic too. And she's like, what? Okay. <laughs> not, not like you could come and fix it, but I, you said they're probably updating it. And right. Did you see the new Christmas um, gnomes and projects? That I know are you told there? me this morning. I saw them on the FOSS last week. So I knew that they probably had to be oh. popping into the Vikings soon. Um, so I, cause it was really funny. Um, it was like a week ago, I was on one of the chats and they were, there were some people upset, not one of our groups, but a, a Viking group that I follow. And people were upset because there was still just a lot of Halloween stuff. Like they hadn't put oh, anything sure. Christmas on yet. And I felt bad because they were like, it must be because I have the epic. And I kept thinking, no, it's just because they haven't updated it yet. Well, sure enough, then all of a sudden these cute little gnomes showed up on the yes. icon last week. And then now they're on all the Vikings. Yes, I turned so, about this morning. I mean, it wasn't there last night when I was yeah, it, They had to have just done it. Yes. And so what you do have when you do go into the blog and we do, honestly, I didn't look at the blog until we did this class myself, <laughs> but when you actually go into it, there's links for the designs and it, it describes that they made these designs in software. So somebody created this cute little project and then there's a blue clickable link. And when you click on it, you can save it to your machine, which when you save it to your machine, it saves it to your cloud. Just right. And then it's yours forever. Yes, but <laughs> we we did discover while we were uh, filming because we were <laughs> we started and we had a project that we were going to reference and then the project wasn't there like we couldn't film it because it was no longer so we're not sure if they actually do take things on and off the blog so it's something that when you turn your machine on go ahead and check and see what new things they've got tips they've got a little lesson that you can pick up and try and now I do that now when I turn the machine on I kind of go oh I wonder what's new. scroll through it real fast yeah, yeah it's just right right there at yeah. the top of your machine when you turn it on yeah and those little gnomes are really cute they were kind of cute and yeah. I do not like gnomes if you know me at home don't either gnomes are freak me out they don't and freak I, me out but I just never got the I never got the thing with them like I never yeah, like those you know those were within range of Oh, I'll be okay with them. <laughs> like clown dolls. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can get past that. <laughs> oh, funny. But yes. Yeah. So yeah, you got to check that blog and that because it does cycle through and change and it may not change for a couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden it may be completely different. Yes. We so that being so said too, if you see something you really like, you need to get in there and play with it while you can, because you never know when you're going to turn it on and it's going to be gone. And I do like that they're very short. I mean, it's not like we're yeah. reading through pages of pages. It's it's kind of the tips are quick and easy. You can absorb them. They're sewing ones and embroidery. So it's, it's yes. a, there's a lot going on. Well, and not even that, there's some that are just like tips on how to use a presser foot or, you know, just little quick things. Yes. So, Good. yeah. So what else you got? I see something behind you that we haven't seen yet before. Oh, yes. So in the, the lessons, I was stitching out some of those uh, radiant stitches and the ribbon stitches. So I can't wait to see what you guys, when you get to those lessons and try them out yourself, that you can post a picture of your actual stitch. Even if you just send a picture or post a picture of your sample, good, bad, ugly, whatever. It's very encouraging to see people trying. Um, it inspires me when I see students uh, sharing their pictures. So that's awesome. And uh, the other thing, so uh, yes, I was quickly quilting and binding it. But one of the other things, and I actually haven't sewed it. Yes, I have a detachable quilt here. <laughs> so the stitches that we did, that I did that were floating, I actually turned it into a circle. Oh. And the last thing I'm going to do is actually machine applique it down. And I like to quilt my quilt first and then apply my appliques so that it's actually kind of through the whole quilting. But I'm just going to use the clear smoke 
colored thread because it's black and then um, stitch that down. But I did want to, I said, said, said to Liz that, um, okay, if you are looking for a fun Christmas gift <laughs> this year, um, I love, love the circular sewing attachment. And if you've ever wanted to make circles and yes, so we did, this is not a featured, but in the course, but it's just something, but we do it in the, in our stitching cosmos course, but I don't cut circles. I mean, how many of you have cut circles and then you're trying to sew around the circle? Yeah. Yeah. So what you do is you start with a square of fabric. So that was my sample of my uh, fun stitches that I was working on. And then a piece of interfacing. And if it is a fusible interfacing, what you're doing is you're laying the two right side together. So we have the, the ironable side of the interfacing matching the right side of the fabric. And then you do the circular sewing attachment. So the circle, and then I cut with pinking shears. Yep. And turn it and you have the perfect circle and it's not a raw edge. And being that it's not a raw edge, that means it's not gonna unravel or you don't have to like- And plus then anything. that's fusible, so then you can- Exactly, that's the trick. And so yeah. that's what I have one last thing to do is to iron on my piece and then do the little stitching in place. So that's my little tip. If you haven't done a circular sewing attachment yet or lately, that's just one of many things that it will do. Um, it has a whole bunch of fun templates that come with it. Um, yeah, anytime I show it at a class, people are just like mind blown on what it can do. <laughs> and it works on a variety of machines, even ones that we didn't talk about in the class. Yes. So your sapphires all right. and all of those. Exactly. Oh. So I'm gonna just answer a couple of the questions I've been getting. So if you are already an enrolled student, these are kind of these, Questions are going to be for those of you who haven't enrolled yet. Uh, we do have a lot of people from uh, other countries that are um, joining us. Yes. Uh, so one of the, the questions that we get is number one, if you are from another country, you just like, what is the cost? Like, because you have a currency and we have a currency. So if you just put your name and your address in the checkout box, it will calculate your country's uh, taxes and currency exchange. So you'll know before you check out how much it's going to cost in your um, country's currency. Um, taxes. Some of our states will charge a tax on this. They're all different. Not. Yeah. Yes. And so our platform that we use is, is very professional. It uh, houses, houses many, many, many online courses. And so they have they have all of that. They collect the taxes, pay the states and the countries what is needed. Um, if you have any trouble getting, um, you know, just something's not working and you can't check out and you want the course, you can email us and we can even send you a private PayPal invoice. Uh, that's another safe way to pay. And then we can just, we just manually enroll you, but you can definitely uh, touch base with us via email. Um, we've had some people call our stores. <laughs> um, so our, uh, just a note, our employees are actually in our course right now. They, taking the they, course. they were not locked away in that room with us. <laughs> no, no. So they're learning the course, but they don't always have all the questions like for login or technical things, but they are happy to take a message for Liz and I. And uh, we are happy to call you back if we are not um, at the store at that time. So feel free to um, call Heirloom Creations if you have questions. Uh, you can call, call the, the so a lot <laughs> and uh, in we'll Kentucky. Yep. In Kentucky, yes. So don't call don't Ohio, mind. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> might take a minute to get your message. It might take a minute before I get that message. <laughs> so uh, like I said, please reach out. I mean, Facebook and email is probably faster because uh, we, uh, we don't sleep apparently. <laughs> People don't think we sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we just um, check things at random times. <laughs> we, we do. So we do keep an eye on all of our students uh, out and about. So uh, sometimes that is an easier way to connect with us or faster. Um, if you have a question about your machine or something that you're stitching, you know what the easiest way to, to send us a question is take a photo or take a video and then send that along. Like my machine is doing this and 
and we can see it, we can often hear it and often hear what the problem is because we've done this long enough. Uh, but a video is so, so helpful. So keep that in mind yes. if you've got questions for us and uh, to reach out with a uh, one of those options. Ooh, should I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this out loud yet, but we had a question regarding the Husker Brown and Viking foot book. Oh yes, yes. Or our over. I don't. Oh. I, I did. I don't think he's watching, so it's okay. Okay, we so we're okay. So we are in. We are working with the uh, the maker of that foot book. It's currently not in a digital form, and we're just going to cross our fingers that we we're can encouraging get it. In, in a digital form for those of you who don't have access to that book or are outside the United States, um, that there may, I'm going to just say maybe a digital version of it in the future. So if we're we encouraging can, that to happen, we can get it. We will let you know as soon as that's available and then you'll be able to, um, oh, we have, have questions it. about the foot book. What is the foot book? Um, Ooh. I have the FOF one here at my desk, but I do not have the Viking one. I'm going to have to turn. Okay. I'm going to have to turn off my blurry background camera and you're going to have to see Mr. Rick for a minute. So he's not creepy. He's just a picture. That's what happens when we're in my office. Um, so this is the FOF foot book. There is a Viking version as well. And basically what the foot book is, it has all the pictures of all the prisoners feet are available for that. And then it's got step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the feet for different applications. So it's a really great resource because it really goes into different kinds of stuff that you can use the feet for, what machines they'll work for, what you'll need to make them work, what settings you need to set your machine on and all kinds of extra stuff. I mean, sometimes you get a foot and you don't always have that, oh, you need to adjust your stitch length and your stitch width or your tension to make this work. So that's what that is. Good. Okay, so there was a uh, question about updating the digital or the foot book is, uh, yes, we are working on the updates to it. And then if you had a digital copy, what your updates will be included with your purchase. So that's what we're, that's what we're fine tuning right now to see if that's possible, because there has been a few feet that have arrived since the last printing of that, uh, of the Viking foot book. And we're real excited to soon have that information included. And I see there's a question on Premiere Plus or the software version, the paid for version of the software. Um, mm. If we, if Liz and I will be doing a question on software. We have on So A Lot's YouTube, we do have some little quick software videos for Premiere Plus 2, because we have been doing a lot with Premiere Plus 2. Um, and we have talked about doing just sort of a quick overview lesson of Premiere Plus 2. Uh, or the there's like so many questions yes. for, well, just even doing like a little brief mice or a Premiere Plus 2, but then now we've obviously moved into my Sonet. Um, there's some things that are a little different about my Sonet than Premiere Plus 2 had. Um, so I don't know, that's something we've been talking about. Exactly. And, and a reminder, and I remember the day we were filming, Liz, when we were scrolling through the MySoNet, and she's like, wait, wait, go back up. And we discovered, apparently we missed it, but there is all the, the tutorials over the last couple of months for the software are actually accessible right there on the MySoNet. So it's so like in the- what they did was- yeah. What they did was they had a thing called, I can't think of what they called it. So if you have, so we have a question, what is Premiere Plus 2? Premiere Plus 2 was the embroidery software for uh, FOF and Husqvarna Viking. And that we're now on the MySonet is the version that we have now. So they had a thing where you could sign up and they would do monthly lessons. And when they switched to MySonet, they took all those lessons and just plopped it into the, uh, um, the how-to section so it's free you, anybody can yeah. access it right now yes um oh which version um are we know i don't eight or nine of the i don't know i'd have to go look for viking viking i know is much farther in than fop but they just started yes. the viking foot book before they started the fop foot book so it is there's a lot of versions but he is but since we talked to him about this he is talking about updating it so there seems to be a new version on the horizon. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Good. 
Everybody's excited about that foot book. We'll have to tell you. I know. Um, uh, the digital version will be, a, there will be a charge for the digital version if that was what was being asked there. Um, but the nice thing is, is that it will be uh, updatable very quickly as, you know, new feet. We always see uh, new feet come out usually at our conventions. So sometimes during the summertime, we see new feet. So we are working on, We'll, we'll see what we see. We don't usually know the feet when they come out or yeah. until we see them. Yeah, they don't. They, I wish they'd call and ask us first, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> we do try to offer our opinions regularly about what we want, though. We are good about that. That's funny. Yes. Um, dun, 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 dun. People are very excited about the foot book. All right. Um, I'm gonna I mean, highlight to... your foot book, like which ones you actually have, <laughs> so you don't know. Okay. Buy. <laughs> so, how does the foot book compare to the accessory guide online? There's a oh, lot okay. more information in the foot book, like a lot more specifics of how to do things, how to set up the foot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, I that's that's the big difference. I do reference and I use a lot the foot book in the Husker Husker Viking Stitching Cosmos online course. So I know some of you are have been in both those courses now, uh, where if you are looking for a hands-on foot class, uh, we'll put links below after we're done here. If you want to check out the free videos that we have for the Stitching Cosmos, because that's all sewing and it's for all. Vikings and it's for a lot of right. the feet. And so we do use that book. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like the encyclopedia. It's the written version. And then yes, the accessory guide is more of a selling. Um, right. Reference. It sort of shows you what the foot is and is a little blurb it about it, but, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really you. tell you how to use it. Yeah. 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 That's good questions, everybody. Uh, Mitzi, I think, yeah, two, 2018 was. I feel like that was the last <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, I think we're right there. But because you. you know, COVID COVID derailed any kind of we didn't get a lot like we normally would have. We should have had some new feet around 2020 and then you know. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully that will get straightened back out soon and we'll get some new feet this coming year. Fun. Oh yes, everybody that has a foot book seems to really love their foot book. Yeah, and they're, if you they're don't not have cute. a foot book. Yep, they're just like a nice little bit reference but yeah. but if you could take it with you or have it uh, have it um yeah wherever you are you know on a digital as a digital version i think a lot of people will like that uh the name of the it's the who's going viking foot book or the fuff foot book that's the name of it um they also have like we have those we have both foot books at the so a lot and you all have them at heirloom creations as well right yes yeah. yeah. And then oh, and they, a stable, there's a stabilizer. There's a, that's uh, what I was just getting ready to book. say. He's got a really great embroidery book too, that talks yeah. about stabilizers and needles and how to hoop and all kinds of stuff. And it's, we used to teach a class from it. They would buy that book and then we would actually go through the book and teach them how to different, do different things with embroidery. So there is that stabilizer book as well. I just I opened that, that book now. yesterday and I'm like, oh, oh, look at all this information. I know it's there's lots of little this, tips. It's just been written there like, well, for a while. And I'm like, how did I not know that this book had everything I that I was needing for my class in it? So yeah, we're gonna we're we're working on the the those other things. They're there's saying a, that your embroidery essentials class is fantastic. Yay! Thank you. Um, yes, there is a state, there is a book about stabilizers. I might have it up front. Let me go. Okay. Sarah will entertain you for a minute. I'll go. Oh. <laughs> oh, wonder. I will show you um, one of our little uh, projects we did in the uh, boot camp class is actually um, Asterisk is what we named this cute little owl. And these were embroidery, embroidery designs from the library. And just a reminder that the MySonet library, yes, if you are a subscriber to the software and you pay a monthly fee, you have access to the library the whole time. Um, but a reminder, look who's here. 
Oh, yes, there she is. Yes. Um, but just a reminder, you can buy designs for like a couple bucks and download those. And when you buy them, they are yours to keep. Uh, but so many people don't realize that. So if you haven't checked out the library lately, um, there was um, there's designs, there's in the hoop projects, there's quilting designs, there's all the fun, fun ones. And then you can search for designs, save your favorites like that. So Yes. Yeah, so if there's anything on the MySonet design library that you like, you can buy it. Yes. Um, okay, so that's question. So here, the foot book for Viking is the eighth Yay. edition is the most current. So okay. we have this in stock if you need this. Then the other one is the country comprehensive guide to machine embroidery. And it just says revised. So it must only be the second guide. But it's got all kinds of like how to do reverse applique embroideries and how to hoop your fabric and what kind of presser foot to use and how to hoop a cap, a hat. So there's lots of information on that. And we both have this book as well. Yes. Um, I, I also was told, Liz, see. that if your store is a Viking gallery store in the Joann's, they usually have those books. So, okay. or if you, if they don't, or they're out, they can get them for you. So if you want to just so, order through your local store. Yeah. They're asking, um, they're asking if this will be in a digital format as well. We're also encouraging that. <laughs> we are jumping told the already. We've, we've already been told we're not really allowed to play with each other anymore because then we start picking jobs for other people to do like turning their books into digital <laughs> formats. Um, let's see. He needed this a little is... boost. <laughs> he, he did. So we have <laughs> other designs. So if you, okay, so we have a question about uh, MySonet software. Yes, if you have a subscription to the MySonet software, then the design library, those designs are free, but you need to be aware that if you, once you stop your subscription, then you will not have access. So you can't like download them and save them and keep them. So if you have a subscription, you only have access to those designs while you are active in your subscription. Once your subscription is not active, you won't be able to get to those anymore. How do we get started with the boot camp? Um, I will send you a link. Yes. And that is done. Um, are there resources for what type of needle to use for what type of fabric? You know, I think he's got stuff in here about that. Um, how to put monograms, where to put your monograms, how to place. Yes. So there is a whole section on which stabilizer and which needles to use for what projects and what kind of fabrics Excellent. in the comprehensive guide to machine embroidery. Um, how, to, oh yeah, here's a whole section on needles. And yes, reference the needle fabric chart. So yes. The Comprehensive Guide to Machine Embroidery has that in it. <laughs> okay, there, I think I answered them all for now. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, so, you know, Sarah and I, oh, like, who publishes the comprehensive book and who is the author? The Comprehensive Guide to Machine Embroidery comes from our friends at Country Stitches in Michigan. It is a Faf Husqvarna Viking and a variety of other machine dealer that we are friends with. And they've been doing this, the Viking book, they've been writing for years, years and years and years. So um, they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> yes, your, your local store should have these, or again, they can order them from Viking if they don't. Um, you can find them online as well. So, or yes. call Liz or, or call, call us. us and we can help you out with that. Yes. So, so yeah. So what other questions have we had? Anything else overly uh, pertinent? I think I, oh, uh, somebody asked me about the sale price or introductory oh, price. Yes. Of course, um, is, well, the price is going to be good through for sure the end of the year. So yes. uh, December 31st. So if you, I know this is a busy time for a lot of you. We got holidays, we got kid programs. I don't know about you, but Yep. <laughs> yes. um, so yes. here's the thing. Remember that if you sign up for the course, it is yours to keep. So if you know that you aren't going to be able to get to it, 
uh, till next year, you will have it. So if you are enrolling, just enroll, then you'll have it. And when you can get to it, it will be there for you. And the other question we do get up, asked often, so just to clarify, we do offer this course in a 12 payment option. So instead of paying the whole course price, um, we you can do a monthly payment. You get the entire course the minute you enroll. So even though you are you choose a different payment option, but at the end of 12 months, you fulfilled your payment. This is not a subscription. So um, it's not like it's going to go away in 12 months. It's not like you only have 12 months to watch it. This is Once you yours. Buy it, it's yours. And then, like we've said at the beginning, Liz and I will be adding information as things change. I think if nothing else, just so we stay on top of this growing ecosystem yes. of the MySoNet. Um, and so we, we want to keep the course updated, and we will. And if you're already enrolled, those course materials that are new are just going to be popped in. Or we might even start a whole new section if there's a whole new topic. Um, so we'll just keep adding as it comes out. We'll notify you via... The website. That's the uh, question that just popped in. How do we know if um, you add new stuff to the course? Yeah. Yep, yep. Or if, yes, we will send out as we add information. We'll, we'll send you a little email uh, from the course from us that says, hey, by the way, we've added this and this. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, yay. <laughs> and we already have plans to hang out with each other next year and do some more stuff. So, yes. Liz wanted to come in the winter time and film. And tomorrow we are supposed to get we our- inside, what does it matter? I know, tomorrow we're supposed to get our first snowstorm. And as our weather people tell us, oh, four to eight inches. Yeah, and we can only means, get a dusting. Which means one to 12 in our world. <laughs> I would love to come and see that. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> yes, which I had, I was working at the store yesterday and you always know when there's a snowstorm coming because we are busy. People are like, oh, yeah. I need a machine, That's what, okay? I need a cabinet. <laughs> That's what happens in Ohio. It's surprising that our two stores, that the two sew lot stores are only two hours apart, but the river, the Ohio River being in between us, there's such uh, a vast difference of weather north of the river versus south of the river. And, you know, we just yeah. don't get the snow down here like... Definitely right. not like South Dakota. So yes. I would love to come to South Dakota in the snow just to be like inside looking out a window with a cup of a hot beverage going, so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. It is. We get a lot done outside. In the we don't get a lot done in the summer because we're outside doing stuff. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, so speaking of, I know we are, I, I we kind of mentioned it in the uh, in the course that I am putting the final touches on our new quick font class and oh by the way i did that binding in the hoop so <laughs> i had this which is in the course done. yes so yes you can embroider your binding on and in the hoop so we uh give you step-by-step -step directions on this and so for so long this has just been like a piece that's been in a hoop kind of all yeah now it has binding on it. <laughs> so we are going to expand. We did put information on the quick bot because that is one of your free stuff that you get with the MySoNet. Um, we put in kind of the, the start of it. You can get started with it. But if you want more information, watch for this course to be coming out. Um, and we'll definitely let all of our boot camp students know about it as soon as it's available. So, we have yeah. a question of when new feet come out, will we let them know? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then we also have a question about is Viking working on a machine with a camera, um, with a camera and scanner. Honestly, I haven't heard anything yet. I wouldn't be surprised if they were, but I don't, they haven't, I haven't heard anything yet. Um, yeah. Icon 2 is pretty much, I mean, if you did not know, Foth and Viking are under the same parent company. So Icon 2 is the next one to go, the next big one to go. So I think a lot of energy has been focused on that, but I wouldn't be surprised if, I mean, Epic 2 just came out. Usually it's about a three-year cycle. So Epic 2 came out when? In 18? Uh, yeah. 
icon came out in 17 epic 2 probably came down in 18 so you're looking at it should be right about now but because of the whole you know disappearing year it might be a little bit longer before we see something new from them but i wouldn't be surprised if it's i don't know i haven't heard anything <laughs> yeah it is fun to see when the new machines come out it's exciting yeah, yeah. so so any other questions St. Louis at 70 degrees. I know. We're supposed to be that's we're awesome. supposed to be in the 60s this week. Okay. That's cute. <laughs> I know. They get so mad at me. There's a text chain with country stitches and heirloom creations. And I'm like, bird, so cold this morning. It was like 32. And they're all like, it's like 10. <laughs> it's like, oh well. Okay, I guess yeah. I shouldn't feel bad about my 32. Where can you send questions? If you have questions, you can. The the, the website camp Facebook has, group is a great place. The website yeah. has an email address. You can email. Um, email is, or Facebook yeah. is probably the fastest way to get an answer. Um, so to get to me directly, the and this is the email that's on the Husqvarna Viking boot camp. If you scroll down to the bottom, where kind of a Liz and I kind of sign off and say, hope to see you in class. Um, it's info at sewingmastery.com that comes to us uh, or comes to me directly. So that's easy. And then we can both answer questions uh, depending on what your question is. But if you do post it in the Facebook group, then everybody gets the benefit from not only the question as well as the answer. And then you can always find your answer <laughs> later. So that's very, very helpful if you can post it there. Never feel um, that you no have a question is a bad questions. question. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We every everybody in the our online course groups are so so helpful. So sometimes the questions answered before Liz and I do wake up, which so that's handy too. <laughs> so you can sometimes get answers much quicker on the Facebook group. Yeah. So so I put a link. If you haven't signed up for the group yet or for the class yet, I put the link on the chat there. So you can click on that and that will take you to the account where you can sign up and be a part of the group. Yes. And then we'll add a, I'll add a link uh, where you can watch the free videos of just Liz and I. It's a lot of, good, just so you can get to know if this course is going to be helpful for you. Yeah. That's kind of fun to watch. Yes. Okay. Oh my we're, goodness. We're entertaining if nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, hey, uh, oh, good. Yay. So someone says that they've been asking a lot of questions and they appreciate the group and everyone's responses. So wonderful. it's been very helpful. I mean, cause that's, you know, but both of our stores, I think, you know, there are a lot of, there are a lot of sewing machine dealers or places where you can buy a sewing machine and you can go and you can buy a sewing machine and then that's sort of it. And I think both of our stores are very much not like that. If you buy a sewing machine from us, we want you to take it home and use it. We don't want you to take it home and put it in the closet and come back a year later and be like, I don't know, I'm not really played with it at all. Like we want you to get into it and see what it can do and sort of spark your creativity. So we're hoping that this will help you with that. Yes. So yeah. So I think that's all I've got. What about you, Miss Sarah? I am good. I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas yes. and a new year. Let us know if you are looking at one of these new machines. Maybe you have one of the more basic ones and you're looking to upgrade. Oh my gosh, there's so many good specials during the holidays and then even into the new year. So yes. just yes. questions, just ask. And we've got stock, so Oh, oh yes, you, it's you have stock. Uh, we have, we stock. have stock also, but it's because we, you know, you and I both ordered machines like before summer, and right. those machines are actually arriving now. Right. And so we didn't know if we would need them or if we're going to be we're out. Just, we were just being prepared. Yes. So definitely, um, not that we can ship machines, but no, we yeah, we can't ship machines. <laughs> but if we have them, then they're out there. Like people should go see your local dealer. If you have a question yeah. about a local dealer. You know, if, if you're having a hard time finding one, ask us. We can help you locate a close. We know a lot of dealers, so we can help yeah. you find somebody close to you that can help you out. 
And I, I, one of the things we do get is like my store retired and that's right. They're allowed to retire. Yes. So they do close. And then I know a lot of you are without a store or, um, and that's why you've joined us. And I just want to say thank you so yes. much for your enrollment and supporting us and going forward with us. We can't wait to see you using your machine to its fullest. Yes. Yes. Really get in there and start playing with it. So. Okay, you guys have a great Christmas and thanks for joining us. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. If I can find the button.